again a little bit of advice for everyone that wants to travel Indonesia. Planning anything here, it's 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 almost impossible. So this happened to us uh, now. We wanted to go to this place that the guy was telling us, and then we find out that the first guide was sick. The other one didn't know the the road because it was a, a big forest fire here. And then after talking with few other people, we actually realized that it really was a, a, a fire here, so they cannot get from here. And someone or would. Uh, already give up but uh, if you want to really see something you have to take the lead you have to push push and push so we went uh, further to to look for other people and we actually find the one uh, old uh, old uh, guy gentleman and he told us that uh, this this place we want to visit can be accessed through another village so actually we are going to this another village and then we will try to to, to get to this uh, to this spot uh, from uh, from there and then we will see how it will go so if you want to get somewhere never give up here we are finally on the boat we have to go to the to the other village the alternative way to get there it's more far it's uh, about four hour boat ride and hopefully there we will uh, find a reliable guide to get us there little less than four hours boat drive because the the sea is quite calm and it looks like we are getting closer to the, to the village it's quite hard to, to have an idea how remote uh, Papua is until you, you get here so you have to drive hours just to get from one small village to another small village but this makes everything even more charming See you. Here we are in this tiny village with the boatmen and by the smell I knew right away what they are doing here. They are frying fish. Let's have a look. what we will do we will start now it's around 10 so we will not get it there before night so on the way we will just stop somewhere make a shelter and then uh, tomorrow in, early in the morning we will proceed and go on to the uh, to the place to the lake remote once again now we are in the in the house of the kepala kampung that actually means the head of the, the village this is the kepala desa of the last village that we came and he is the one that can uh, help us go. He confirmed again that it is uh, quite far. So if we start now, we have to walk till night. Then we will have to make a shelter in the jungle and then go on uh, tomorrow. Going in the jungle is no joke. You have to be very careful who, who is taking you. Jungle is really a place you don't want to get uh, uh, stuck in. So we are going with locals and we have to find some trusted locals. There are a lot of people anywhere in the world that will just uh, Try to get some easy money and then let you on your own. So as we don't have any GPS, we don't have any satellite phone or nothing. So we have to, to take extra precautions. We are finally ready to go. This is Kepala Desa, our friend Jensen and the other guy. So we will be five people. And we're off.
have some two more hours walk till night. Brapa, brapa la Malahi, most in Figa Jam. On to Bermaram. Figa. Figa, so yeah, about three hours. Three hours more. We are still okay. here for the night and I ask how much more we have tomorrow so tomorrow if we wake up really early we have some eight hours more Here in the middle of the road from the sea to the, to the lake. This is where Max and I will sleep tonight. In case of rain, we are already in some kind of cave. The cave is deeper, but to be like as a shelter from rain, it will be just okay. Wherever you go, whatever you do, be careful and not leave any trash behind. Many people know this, but for the ones that don't know, there are still many. We have to, to say it again and again. Next, take, take out the trash and we go. So take your trash, put it in the bag or wherever you can, and then throw it in a trash can. That's the only way. They really look cool. Come on, let's go. What?
may be wondering what we are doing here in the middle of the night. Let me just tell you that it's Saturday night. So, yes, we are going to look for some snakes. Actually, sea snakes. It's me again. I forgot to tell you that those are the most venomous snakes in the world. Young man, Katana. Boss, come here, Katana. The iron shouldn't be so far, huh? Maybe 400 meters? No. Less? I think more. More? Yeah. Is that Jalankaki? Is that Jalankaki? So many interesting things in the night. We will find the first snake. We are literally st stepping <laughs> on the snakes here. This is quite a stupid idea, but it looks kind of cool. Uh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, that's Sini. Ah, this one, this one. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, the parada is sana. The sar, this one was big. Oh, one more here. <laughs> I almost stepped on this one. Here I am with the most venomous <laughs> snake in the world. It's beautiful. Whoa! Look at this. Maybe like this. You can yeah. See show me the back uh, yeah? color. Whoa! It's beautiful. Just amazing. It's quite big, yeah. Yeah, this one is quite big. They don't grow. Ale, ale. So big. Ale. Wow, amazing. <laughs> when my mom sees it, <laughs> she will get your mother, mad. Your mother don't like <laughs> She told me, don't touch this. I said, yeah, right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Amazing. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's amazing, huh? Yes. Like, the, like having a nuclear bomb in your head. 